It's a real regime almost. Oh, hell no. They're talking about me. All I needed was one ball. The science of training. And I know you don't think it's a sport. Now, you mentioned uh, classic physique, right? Yeah. Did you get upset one time? Um, I think it was King Kamali or, or somebody else. That yeah. They suggested that you should be in classic. And, that, and I think it was like a, a back and forth at one point, right? That, that upset you. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 was, it didn't upset me as much as it was annoying. Because here you have a guy um, who didn't achieve anything great. And it's not a disrespect to him. I could see if this was a recommendation coming from uh, Lee Haney or Ronnie Coleman or someone that was at the top of the top. And I actually could respect what they were saying. What lost it for me with him um, was this was a guy that was giving me praise in 2019 when I was in the open class. So once I come in a little off, um, I, um, was it at the Arnold? Yeah, I believe it was at the Arnold. Once I come in a little off, so now I should go to classic. <laughs> it's it's just crazy. But you know, that's I if I was an if I was another open class athlete, I would actually feel like that's kind of disrespectful because what makes me classic? Um, you know, on stage at my height, you know, at five nine, five ten, uh, the cutoff is like two oh six. So at the Olympia in twenty nineteen, I was two thirty six. There's no way and I was healed. I had no fat. No, there's no way I'm gonna cut down to 206 pounds. So for him to say some ignorance like that, uh, excuse my language, it, it was just like, dude, you're, you're. It's like he's miseducating people, you know. Instead of saying, oh yeah, you know, he just needs to grow. He should stick to what he's doing. Obviously, he's taking his time. He's gonna do it, you know, how he feels best for his body. You, you're telling people I should do something that's impossible. There's no way I can make 206 pounds. I boxed for years at 206 pounds. So uh, that's what really annoyed me with him because, you know, then he makes his followers believe that that's a possibility. So when people are saying, oh, you should go to classic, I'm constantly telling people, guys, that's not possible. So anyway, back to my original statement, what makes me classic? Because my waist is really small, uh, because my arms are 22 inches, my shoulders are very wide. Um, there's there's I'm just wondering what makes me classic and that's the only separation I get from people oh well your waist is really really small and the, the guys that's what classic guys have well I'm not the only open guy with a small waist I may have the smallest but you know when people say that it's like I don't think they understand that that's a weight class it's a cutoff so if they do any kind of research and if they follow the sport they'd understand there's no way I can make the classic weight limit, you know, unless they change it to 230-something pounds for 5'9". No, and plus, I mean, you're achieving success already in men's open. And, yeah, and, you and that's the thing, dude. The level. You, this sport isn't, any sport is not made for you to um, to back down. You know, I, I even remember replying back to that, and I said, I'm not going to go down to another class. And everyone, they tried to change that up and say, oh, he's disrespecting classic. He's saying it's not hard. No, I'm saying that my goals are my goals. If I want the open Olympia title, which is what I'm chasing, I'm going to do what needs to be done to get that title, which is if it means growing muscle and getting bigger, okay, I'll take the time to grow muscle and get bigger. But there's no way I'm going to say, oh, I can win down there in Classic, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut weight down and then go down to Classic. Who does that? I mean, if, if you're a real athlete, you don't back down from a challenge. You accept the challenge. You step up to the plate and you get the job done. Uh, so that's where I'm at with it. I I would never, if if lad, even if they did change the weight limit to 240, I still would not go to classic. I would never ever go. I want the open title. Like I I can't make that any clearer. I want you know historically, Mr. Olympia was one class. And so that's the title that I want. I don't it still want is. You know, people say it's it's actually called champion of let's say two twelve Olympia. Uh -huh. they, they, Mr. Yeah. Olympia is only open class, but people, you know, they, yeah, but yeah, you know, people, people <laughs> so, say whatever it's not, they want. It's not disrespectful, man. It's just a mutable fact that historically, Mr. Olympia is an open class bodybuilder. So that's the title that I want. And like I said, man, I just won't ever back down from that. Even if I don't achieve that goal. I, I'll, I'll be happy with the fact that I chased what I wanted to do. I didn't 
go someone else's route or their suggestion because of what they feel like. They don't know how hard I'm working. They don't know how my body develops. So when he said that or anyone else says that, I just don't pay any mind because I'm like, well, you clearly don't know what you're talking about. So, but him, I just had to address that because he was so adamant about that. But then he was completely different after my showing in 2019. I wasn't in classic then. So if I was good in 2019, why would I go backwards, you know, in 2020? So it just made no sense. 